Hey, welcome back. Just working on a little bit of stuff on eBay. This is a beautiful vase we've got. It's got a signature on the bottom from Patricia Dobbs. We're gonna go over and put this up to tonight and you'll see a lot more about it, but that's not what this is about. Uh, let me first do a quick shout out. I wanna say thanks to Software Geek, eBay lovers, Renee and Sharon, Kelly Markham, and Lady Bird Lover. Thank you so much for, for doing the things that you are with us on, on Twitter. You've been a real help. I appreciate it all the way around. Now, what we're doing today is we're going to address a tweet that we got today. It was from a um, M. Stout, 1979. That's Michael Stout. Now, what's going on is Michael shipped some PS3 games overseas. And the people claim they had never received it. We don't know if there was any tracking or record of that because Michael didn't go into it, but he did say that eBay made him give the money back to it. And it was pretty expensive for him. Joinks. And so he wanted to know how we handled something like this going overseas. We do a lot of shipping overseas. And I mean a lot. And one of the things that we have learned is that sometimes shipping takes a long period of time. You need to communicate with the people that you're selling to. Let them know how long it's going to take. If you're sending something first class mail, first class mail take, may take anywhere from four to five to as much as seven weeks to go overseas because it has to go through customs and other things. When you ship first class mail, this is a little known trick that not many people know, but the customs number is tracked up to the border of the United States. So if you put that in on eBay, it will show that your item was received at the post office and it will show when it left the United States border. This makes a lot of difference because when eBay contacts you or PayPal contacts you, you can then show them that you shipped it, it went out, it hit the border, and what they will do is they'll normally give you a little bit of extra time rather than doing an immediate decision on the behalf of the other person and they'll let you have maybe an extra couple weeks to allow it to get to the people's hands. Now it's not, normally people are not dishonest. You may run into someone dishonest. If you've got a little bit of an uneasy feeling, send it registered mail. Costs an extra $11.50, but they have to have a signature on the far end. That really makes a difference. So if you've got something that's got a little bit of value on it, you're shipping it out first class mail or priority mail, and you wanna make sure it's getting there, send it out registered mail, be sure to put those tracking numbers on eBay, communicate with the people on the far end, and also communicate with eBay and PayPal and letting them know that you do have those tracking things there. That will do the best you can to eliminate as many of those problems as you can. It may not get rid of all of them, but it's going to get rid of the majority of them. At least that's what we do. Do you think people will vote for me? Heck yes. I'd vote for you.